Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a bubble chart. More specifically, how to create a bubble chart with some imagery inside it. And a bubble chart is a little bit different from the other charts and graphs in Excel where there are actually three series of values. So in general you have your x, your x axis is one series and your y axis is another series of values. And with a bubble chart you have the size of your bubble which is another series and basically it's kind of denoted as your X and Y and Z so you have to have it either in a, in a row format of X, Y and Z or in a column format of X, Y and Z. So let me show you how to create this type of chart here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this data over into another sheet which I've already done. Let me go over here and usually with a bubble chart uh, you don't want to select the whole table. So I'll show you an example of what happens if we do. If we select the whole table and go insert charts, you really get a pretty ugly looking chart. The best way to do it is not to select the headers, the uh, column headings, and, or the, the category in the first column. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. It's best to just select the data. So we're going to select the data and go to insert chart. I'm going to go under the chart group and select a 3D chart. And once I select the 3D chart, it actually correctly uh, places the bubbles within the area. And there's a sub couple cleanup things we can do. Uh, first off, is we probably don't need the negative settings here. Uh, see how it goes down to negative 20 and 40 and negative 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the axis. So we'll go to the first is the uh, the Y axis. Right click that, go under Format Axis, and then we can change that fixed we're going to plot them to zero so we want to have, have the minimum at zero and I don't really need to close this window I can actually go ahead and select the x-axis and select now I'm at the x-axis and I can just change that fixed and I'll make that zero two now you notice that they're both zero click close and now we've kind of lined it up nicely here I'm going to get rid of these grid lines select that and just press the delete keys and I'm going to get rid of that legend too. And now I'm going to start to put in the imagery. So I've went on the web and downloaded some uh, JPEGs of the images for these particular stocks. So what you can do is you can right click I'll right click on this one actually and uh, if I hover over it I know that this is the largest one. Of course is this is based on market cap so X my X is here, my years, my Y is here, the revenues, and the Z, when you think about it, is the market cap. So if I click here, if I just kind of hover over it, uh, it will tell me, or if I can just click here, yeah, hover over it, it will tell me the size is 621, so I know this is Apple. So if I right click it and go under Format Data Point, it will bring up the uh, data, Format Data Point window, and I want to change the fill. So there have, there's all these other fill options here, and I want to get the picture so I'm going to select that and when that is selected you've got these other options so I'm going to select file I've already downloaded a picture now look, it says Facebook here I know that's supposed to be apples but I'm going to put the apple one there so I put the apple one there insert it and you see apple shows up and do the rest do the same for the other ones so if I hover over that 256 I know that is Microsoft so I'm going to go and do Microsoft here Oops, I still had that selected. Let's go ahead and change that back to Apple. <laughs> Alright, now I click here. Now you see that's selected. And I'm going to go ahead and change that to Microsoft. And then if I hover over this one, 222, that tells me it's Google. I'm going to, oops, first I need to click it to select it. So now it's selected. Go into fill. Oh, that one's Google. Insert. And this one, I believe, is 18. So that's going to be Yahoo. Oops. Keep forgetting to click it to select it. So here's Yahoo. I'm going to go ahead and add Yahoo in there. Uh, let's see. And the last one is going to be Facebook. So I'm going to select that and have picture fill Facebook. Alright, so now I've got these pictures in there. 
Now I want to get the, the names. Maybe sometimes I'll, in addition to the images, you might want to also have the names. So I'll select, I'll select one. Oops. Let me let me deselect each one image one and go back to select it. Now we see that all the uh, all the uh, spheres are selected. And then after that, right click and go ahead and then add data labels. So what it's going to do is it's going to add the data labels that represent the um, the revenues. See, in the 149, 74. What we can do is actually we can change that. So we have to change it for each one. So I'm going to go ahead and select the data label. Now you see they're all selected, but I have to click it one more time to individually select it. So that's one thing that you have to do is you have to individually select them and change them. So after that, I can just actually select that and see it selected and go up here into the formula bar, type equal sign, and that's, what, that's Apple, so I can just select that. Well, I can either type it in for Apple, or I can just select that. I rather I rather just select the reference sheet to that because maybe if it changes, uh, if I change it to Apple Computer, it will change dynamically. So I press Enter, that becomes Apple, and I just do the same for the rest here. Go up here, go to the formula bar. That's Microsoft. Oops, equal, equal Microsoft. No, I'm sorry. That's going to be. Oops, Control Z. Let's escape. Let's get back to click on that and click up here and type the equal sign first and then click Microsoft to get the cell reference. Press enter and do the same for Google. I can, in addition, I don't always necessarily have to click that and click up here. I can actually click that and press the F2 key and you can see that it's selected there. So if you like keyboard shortcuts, you can do that. Type the equal sign, that is Google. Press enter and click on the label here. Five is Yahoo. Press F2. Yahoo. Oops. Press F press there. F2 equal sign. Yahoo. Enter. Uh, the same for Facebook. Press F2 equal sign and then click in the Facebook cell. Press enter. So now you see here. I've got. I'm almost there. So I want. I want to be able to put a title and label the axis. So very similar to um, what we did here is I can just click on the. Actually, I can just go under the. Uh, let's see, the layout. I think layout and add axis titles. So I can add a primary horizontal one, and then also click in here. Press F2 and equal sign, and I'm going to add how that is this one. Years as company. Press enter. And do the same thing here. Uh, access title vertical. And let's just make this horizontal title. And then press F2 to get into the formula bar. Equal sign. And these are the revenues. And then I go ahead and add a add a chart title above the chart. And I'll call this uh, I'll call this market cap comparison. So that's how you create uh, that a bubble chart and add a little bit more pizzazz to it, imagery instead of uh, just plain 3D bubbles or regular color bubbles and having the labels next to it. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.